in the air. Alpha. Party support inbound. Take cover. Ah, oh, damn it. C-47 inbound. Take cover. Well, we are taking Alpha.
Napalm inbound. Take cover. We are taking Bravo. is in the air.
Decepticon is in the air. Napalm inbound. Take cover. Soldier. Party support inbound. Take cover. Think this shit. I'm hit.
that I felt like the image artifacting that occurred when I was doing it just simply was not worth the visual gain that you get from ray tracing in that title. Well, now I'm gaming at 4K, but hey, you got the 3080. That is way more powerful than my old 2070. So I was like, yes, we're going to load into Cyberpunk. Had that 1.5 patch update, so, you know, things are looking good. They changed a bunch of stuff. Maybe I'll do a run through on a harder difficulty or something like that. And I started benchmarking it. And honestly, guys, <laughs> it can't even run 60 FPS at 4K Ultra without ray tracing, again, with and without DLSS, but let's be clear, even without ray tracing, and where I would want to actually play the game at, if I'm enabling a lot of The new phenomenon that has been taking over the internet. The new phenomenon that has been taking over the internet by storm. A lot of people have been asking me how good of a fighter was Andrew Tate really. Some people don't even know that Tate used to actually be a professional kickboxer and the guy was good. A legitimate professional fighter. Andrew Tate amassed a kickboxing record seemingly some places have a different number but they're around the same. 76 and 9. I don't know if that's the exact accurate number but that's kind of what I'm seeing. Regardless a lot of wins and not that many losses. And he was a multiple time international champion as well as the infusion world champion getting a a bunch of titles from 2009 all the way to 2014 fighting from like heavyweight to cruiserweight he even tried his hand in MMA undefeated in that sport and did very well even beat six foot six Luke Barnett who a lot of people know for his run in the UFC they eventually became friends sparred a bit I recommend you guys checking out that entire sparring video it's actually an interesting one to look at because Barnett is a massive guy but overall Andrew Tate has a very unique style an elusive dexterous and yet aggressive striking style combined with traditional martial art kicks but more modern boxing you don't normally see that kind of mix when he kicks you think he's a traditional fighter but when he punches he adopted a lot more of the modern boxing styles and made that combination work Tate has a very unique style, an elusive, dexterous, and yet aggressive striking style combined with traditional martial art kicks, but more modern boxing. You don't normally see that kind of mix when he kicks you think he's a traditional fighter, but when he punches, he adopted a lot more of the modern boxing styles and made that combination work beautifully. And what you're going to get from Andrew Tate's style is there's a lot of manipulation of his opponent's defenses and even sometimes their attacks. He's almost in full control of what his opponent is doing. And you have to get at a high level to really do that kind of stuff. And yes, Tate has a lot of power, man. Knocking opponents out with one punch and even awkward angles that you would find pretty surprising to generate the kind of power from. On the back foot, casting punches while getting his own leg kicked out. Andrew Tate actually has some immense 